Music often makes the difference between ordinary videos and good ones. In this chapter, you'll learn how to use music for your movie projects. You'll get to know how to add audio clips to your project, how to capture music from CDs, how to adjust the volume levels of your audio, and how to record narration. You'll also learn how to use the auto music generator to create custom background music. The new Video Studio interface allows you to include up to four separate audio tracks at one time. You can adjust each individually and produce movies with superb sound quality. The audio library contains a number of audio clips. You can also use your own sound files, WAV, MP3, or WMA by clicking on the Load Audio button next to the library. From there, you can drag and drop audio files into the audio track of the timeline. When you drag an audio clip into the timeline, you can use the trim bar and jog bar to cut the sound clip, just like video clips. Simply grab a handle and drag it to shorten a clip, either from the beginning or end. And like your video clips, you can also split the audio into separate sections. You can also insert music from your own audio compact disc. Load your CD into your computer's CD drive. Click on the Music tab of the Options panel to access your audio CD. Select the audio track that you want to use. Select the length that you want to record from the track. You can always preview the selection before Video Studio captures by clicking on the Play Selected Track button. When you're ready to record the audio from your CD, click on the Record Selected Track button to begin capturing. When Video Studio is done recording the track, it will create a WAV file and put it into the music track of the timeline. You can also set audio to fade in and fade out automatically at the beginning and end of each clip. With the clip we've chosen, we'll sample it by clicking on Play. Go to the Options panel and click on the Fade In button. Play audio track again. Notice the difference? The first time you played the clip, sound instantly came in. While during the second time, sound gradually came in. The default duration for fade in and fade out in Video Studio is one second, but you can change the duration of the fade manually by typing a number in duration. You can also set a new default value in the Preferences section. Go to the File menu. Select Preferences. Select the Quality and Duration tab. Go to the Default Audio Fade In Out Duration feature and change the fade feature to the duration you want. Working with audio is fairly simple if you only have one audio source. But what if you want to use the audio from the main video, the overlay, and still you want to add background music and narration? If you have more than one audio clip playing at one time, you can change the level of each one so that they can blend well together. First, we'll adjust the audio from the video track. We proceed to the audio step. Going to the options panel, we select the clip volume feature. Clicking on the arrow accesses the sound level control. The default level is 100, but it can be raised to 500. We set it at a lower rate so as not to drown out the other tracks. There are many times when you want a particular clip's volume adjusted. For example, you may want to retain the present volume at the start, minimize volume during the middle part when music comes into play, and then raise it again at the end. You can do so with a process called rubber banding. It is a visual way of adjusting your volume level by tweaking your clip's audio during the audio timeline. Here's how you do it. With the last project still open, switch to the audio timeline mode. Notice that a line cuts across the middle of the audio clip. This means that volume is consistently level. Adjusting is as simple as raising or lowering the audio level at the particular section where you want to make the adjustment. By adjusting or combining the various audio levels in the different tracks, rubber banding effectively filters out unwanted noise and amplifies parts you want your audiences to hear. Finally, adding narration to your project can help your viewers understand better what they are looking at and can give additional information not visible in the frame. However, narration should be used sparingly, providing a running commentary where people can see will not make for exciting viewing. First, you need to hook up a microphone to your computer's sound card. Look for the microphone in plug. First, move the preview bar to the point of the movie where you want to begin narrating. Click on the voiceover tab in the options panel. When you click on the record voice button, first check that the volume you're recording is at the right level. When you're ready to begin narrating, simply click on the start button. As you're narrating, the preview window will display this video so you can synchronize your narration with the action on screen. When you're done recording, click Stop Recording Voice in the Options panel. Your voiceover clip will appear in the narration track of the timeline. Next up, we'll learn how to create original background music. The Auto Music Generator, a smart sound-based technology, lets you create your own background music. It is a new and exciting way to include original music that fits the mood of your movies. 
Even better, the tracks you create can be as long as you need them. This means that instead of timing your movie and editing a particular audio clip to fit the duration, you can now simply choose a music style and set the duration automatically. Video Studio is pre-installed with 27 music tracks, from soft music to space age, from calm to adrenaline pumping. The Auto Music Generator has a music track available for every scenario imaginable. Depending on the length required, each track can generate a number of variations. This means you can create soundtracks with unlimited variations of mood and length. Furthermore, you can expand your smart sound library by adding more tracks which you can purchase. To use the Auto Music Generator, here's what you need to do. Make sure you are in the timeline mode. Drag Part 5, Perform and Finish, into the timeline. If the clip is too long to be displayed entirely in the timeline, click Zoom Out until you see the entire clip. You'll notice that your clip is exactly 34 seconds long. This means we need a music track that matches it in mood and length. Switch to the audio step. Click the Auto Music Generator tab. Select an appropriate music type for your clip. Since the video is about an extreme sport, we'll select Cold Metal. We know that the video is 34 seconds long, so we put the same value in duration. Based on the value we entered, the Auto Music Generator comes up with different variations that are all the same length. Let's listen to the variations one by one. We do so by choosing one variation and clicking Play Selected Music. After careful choosing, we select Smack. We click Add to Timeline. Last, we align it to the intended clip. See how the music begins and ends exactly the same as the clip? Amazingly, the Auto Music Generator created this custom-fitted soundtrack quickly and easily. In this chapter, we've covered how to add audio clips to your project and how to capture music or audio from your own CDs. You've also learned how to add narration to a project, how to adjust the volume levels of your audio. And finally, we learned how to use the Smart Sound powered Auto Music Generator to create original music. Yeah.